So right around the base of this tree, I was looking and I can see someone got picked one. Here's the, the base of the mushroom, pretty good size one. But it's not dead, I believe it's an oak. It's kind of burled up at the base. And every year we get half a dozen of them around it, but uh, someone beat me to it this year. Here's uh, some shooting stars. I don't know if you're familiar with those. It's a cool little flower. You can't buy these at your local store, typically. If you're into flowers. I just showed up at uh, Homiston Woods Shelter. They've got a really nice shelter here. I don't know how much it gets used, but uh, it's pretty cool. They've got an old well over there you can drink water from. Sometimes there's mushrooms right by the shelter here. People have a tendency to go walking way out in the woods trying to find them and they overlook the spot that's right close to where their car is. Don't see any this year. It's a nice place to come hike even if you're not looking for mushrooms. Find anything? No. Real nice shelter here. In Pontiac, Illinois. I think they have wood stacked up that you could use for building the fire uh, in this fireplace to cook on or you could probably bring coal out here. Right next to the Vermilion River. Nice look out here. Water's up pretty high so it's muddy. I've been picking mushrooms in this place since I was seven years old. Usually we got, would come out here and, and get uh, honey mushrooms and sheep heads, also known as hen of the woods. If you're ever in the area and you want a nice hike, come on out to Hummiston Woods. One of you guys was out there asking me about ramps and uh, here's a patch of ramps here, a small one. There's some bigger patches in here. Try to find those before the day's over with. If you've never had ramps, they're kind of a garlicky onion, wild onion taste. They can be quite strong. Goes on in here for maybe 10 feet, this patch. There's some bigger ones though. Looks like there's a bunch of ramps up here too. Small amount of them there. Yeah, you can't pull them. Probably dig them up. But there's a bunch. Here's the big ramp patch that we were talking about earlier. There are a bunch here. The rumor has it that some people have gotten a few out of here and taken them home and are growing them, which probably they wouldn't like in here. But uh, that's one way to get wild ramps growing at your house. You got this uh, burled up old tree here. It's got a lot of rot on it, really stressed. And so I pulled a piece of it off. I was kind of curious what, what, what the wood would look like for making knife handles and such. Well, this is pretty rotted, but when we pulled it out, this is what we were seeing. Isn't that just lovely? Like them bugs, Vic?
Yeah, you're interrupting their love connection. I think they were making love. Yeah. Get some violin music for them. Hmm. All right. Set them free, Vic. Okay. Free Willie. I think one of them already fell off. Now they're like 100 miles apart. Oh, no. Way to go, Vic. Well, I've come across a huge patch of ramps out here. This thing goes on for, I don't know, 100 feet. It's just gigantic. This would be the place to come if you wanted to get some. Keep going and going. Probably been out here a good 45 minutes. Haven't found a mushroom yet which uh, doesn't surprise me on a place that's probably been constantly hit in the past couple weeks. We are about 45 minutes north of where I've been finding mushrooms, so we'll just have to keep looking. I do see a herd of deer way off in the distance. Look like there's at least 20 of them running through the woods up there. Can't even hear them. Got a deer hanging out right over here. Got several deer hanging out right over here. I think these deer just run in circles. Or stand in circles. Yeah, there's probably at least 10 of them in there. Tuesday, May 12th, I believe, and we're going back into the woods. We were out Saturday in Humbison Woods in Pontiac, didn't do any good, but as you know, I left some small ones out here the other day, so we'll see if they're there and they're ready to pick now. Let's get them. Well, good thing I got the mushroom queen with me today. She's already spotted two where they were last time over here. Uh, right here, we got two of them. One nice one here. What do you think of that, Vic? You found that. That's a big one. Yeah. And then there's the other one right there. We've only been in the woods here about five minutes, so pretty good score this early. Any more? And the ones I found the other day were right over there, about probably six feet from where we were that day. And same old double tree that they were hanging out by. Well, usually this ditch here has something in it, and you can see them from a long ways away. So I was walking across the ditch, and I saw something over here. And there they are. Pretty big ones. Big yellows. See two. I'll have to pick these and uh, see if there's any more in the area. Bad pollen out here today, it looks like. Pretty big one. Yeah, I can see them from here. 
Yeah. See him from clear over there, huh? I can see that. Nice. This is where I found them three the other day or four. I left a couple small ones, but I'm not seeing them. came and snagged them up. Got yeah, one more spot over here, Vicky, we need to try where I left that great big one the other day. You excited? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's go see if this big mushroom is here where I left it the other day or someone picked it and left the pile of sticks behind where I covered it up. And it's still here, but it ain't doing anything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it. It hasn't grown at all. Five days, it did not grow. So. Yeah, it is a little dry. Yeah. Oh well. What's going on over this way, Vic? You've got one. Oh yeah. Can you see it? I do see it. Good job. It's a small one. I see three of them. Where? They're there. I see two. There's one here. Next to them, I see them. They look oh, a little dry. Then. then there's a couple over there. Yeah. Three there. That's a clump. Yeah, all four. That's a lot, though. Oh, there's one that somebody knocked over right there, too. That was probably me the other day. Maybe. Oh, there's, there's one over there. One there. There's one. Here, you, mine's too short. So there's one there. And there's something there started. It don't look very big. Yeah, we'll go ahead and pick a few of these. Yeah. See if I can get out of here. There's three here. Well, them three are gone. There's a fourth one. Dried one yeah. Yeah. Hey dummy, look at your left foot. Right at the end of it. Look, come on. I'll let you eat that one, Vic. No problem. You can have that dry one, Vic. Okay. I don't think it's dry. It just looks like it's been ate off probably by a deer or something. There's that one. A couple, three of them here. There's one. Here's one you got by your glove right there. See that? Yep. Not very big. Mm -mm. This is quite a nice area. They gotta always have some fertilizer. Yeah, it's all the deer poop. Oh, honey, you just stepped on that one. Okay, let's get it. It's just been all right oh, and step on okay, it. Okay, okay. There you go. That's a nice one. Yeah. Okay, I've got to keep looking. Any more around here? How many was that? Eight? Nine? Here's one. Here's another one. There's two here. Did I step on one, Vic? Oh, well. Yeah, it's a regular patch of them here. Here's another one. How big is the one you just got? 
I think you stepped on it. You blaming it me? Size 13. No way. It says size midget shoe on it. It's what it says. Keep looking. They're in here. Gotta be more. Feel it in my bones. I think that's the most we found all year in one spot. Pretty sure of that. Yeah. Here's another one. Yeah. Yep. There's two of them. They're real little. Now, I don't know what kind of tree this is. Maybe someone out there in uh, YouTube world can tell us. That's that scrub brush looking trees that we find them in a lot. Well, we've got a whole area over here we can check yet. Let's see what's over here. Vicky's been finding more of them over here. What do you got in your hand? Just a dried one. Throw it in the bag. There's one here. Got that one. Where's the other one you got? Walk away two minutes and she gets all kinds of them. Vicky thinks this is a false morel, but it's not. It's a regular morel. It's hollow inside. Well, the bases are just that way. They seem to be just scattered all through this brushy area here. There's one there. As you can see, there's no big elms here. Just a bunch of junk. I guess there's a dead elm here and a dead elm there and a dead elm. A few dead elms. But we're probably eight feet from the trees now. See anything over that way? No. Well, Vicki, we've done another episode. What do you think? Found a lot this time. So we found, nice. yeah, quite a few of them. Now we get to go home and uh, rest. <laughs> See you later. Bye.